we're going to look at the book of Mark, which reveals Jesus as the servant. The way we're going to do this is we're going to go through all 16 chapters of the book of Mark. We're going to take one scripture from each chapter, and we're going to examine it and look deeply into the servanthood of Christ and find ways to allow that reality to penetrate our hearts, to take us into a a greater wealth of understanding of his character and nature as a servant. The Gospel of Mark was mainly written to a lot of Gentiles, so unbelievers. So because of that, in its nature, it's revealing Christ's heart to serve and showing him constantly helping people. In fact, the word immediately is found 41 times in this gospel that when Jesus would interact with people that were sick or paralyzed, immediately a miracle would take place. Something that's very interesting is that in all four of the gospels, you have the synoptic gospels, which is Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And then you have John, which 90% of the content of John is not found in Matthew, Mark, or Luke. Matthew and Luke both have genealogies of Jesus. Mark is the only gospel that does not. John does have a genealogy, but it's very different from what we're accustomed to. The genealogy is in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. John's purpose was to reveal Christ as the son of God. So there was no need to give a genealogy of man when he is the beginning of genealogy. He's the I am. But Mark has a unique approach. It does not give a genealogy of Jesus. And the reason it doesn't is because a lot of people that are going to read this gospel are actually slaves and servants in that time. And since the gospel is revealing Jesus as the servant, it's revealing that a servant or a slave, their genealogy wasn't kept record or didn't need to be known. So Jesus is being revealed as the servant, showing that his genealogy is not necessary, which that very revelation alone reveals that anyone that follows Christ, they are not exempt from serving, that serving is in the DNA of God, that serving is the expression of the king and his kingdom, not serving for incentives, but serving from identity, that the whole Godhead serves, that it says in John 14, 26, the helper, Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit helps us. It says in Psalms that God is our very present help. So he's helping us. And then Jesus is found saying that I have come to serve. So the whole Godhead is serving. And Jesus says, I only do what I see my father doing. And he came to serve, which means he only saw his father serving. That loving is serving. And when we serve our fellow brother and sister, we are revealing who the true servant is. A major indicator that one doesn't know God is they lack the desire to serve. I have two challenges for you from this introduction. Begin to read the Gospel of Mark and look for Jesus the servant throughout every story, throughout every parable that's illuminated in this Gospel. As you're reading it, let the reality of his servanthood touch your heart and pull it out of you. Just as it says the Son of Man must be lifted up, that when we look at him, when we behold him, we become more like him. It says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, well, the more we behold him as the servant, the more we will be the, the reality of heaven's nature to serve will will be compelled out of our hearts as we serve one another.